Hey everybody, what the heck is going on? As Bucky would say, this is Buddy Blackford here with another masking tutorial in After Effects CS6. So this time I'm going to go over how to select your different uh, points and different like tips how to select your points in uh, After Effects and or within your mask. And I'll also show you how to animate your mask and how to control it in different ways. So we'll start off by the selection. So if you have just your layer selected like I do right now, but you don't have your mask selected, the points are going to be represented by little dots. Now if these dots are a little too small for you, you can go up into your preferences. So if you go to edit preferences and then uh, go to general. There's a preference here called uh, path point size, which is right here. And if you increase that, let's, let's increase it to 10 and see what it looks like. Hit OK. Your points get bigger. Now, this can be helpful if it's hard to see, but I mean, when you have to, you'll have to zoom in to see if you really got on the corners, or you have to take this uh, toggle your mask off. So I'm going to set mine back to 5. Edit, Preferences, General, and I'm setting mine back to 5. That's the default, I think, because I like a little bit of smaller handles there. So you can click on your mask here, and it will select all the points. And I can click on one point and drag the entire mask around. If you click off, and then go to click on just one point you can see it changes into a square and the square that is filled in is the point that you have you can hit hold control actually it's it's all you can hold all to uh, click and you click on any po anywhere on the mask path where it changes into the black arrow hold all and click and it'll select all the points again I'm going to click off. If I click on a segment here, like this line, it'll select the two points on either side of the segment. So it selected that point up there and it selected this point down here. If I hold shift and I go to click on some points, it'll select whatever points and add them to your selection and it'll keep those selected while not selecting ones in between. But if you want to select ones in between, you can also. So if I try to move this, some of the points are going to stay still while some of them aren't. And another way to select a few points at once is to, you can, oops, that's why I like to lock the backgrounds. You can drag a marquee there around certain points. Let me. Make sure that's selected, and drag the marquee, and it'll it selected those two points, and then I can add that one in. If I hold Shift, it'll select uh, a few points with the marquee. So that's uh, pretty much how you go about selecting your points and the different ways to select them. Now, say you need to you want to animate this mask and it needs to I'll show you the uh, the footage if I press um, page up it's gonna go backwards well, let me click on my timeline panel here I'll go back All right, now I'm on the timeline panel if I hit page up you can see that the footage moves but the mask stays now we need to animate the mask so that it follows this sign here and the way you do that is twirl down your mask properties by pressing M. You press MM to open up all the properties. Mask path is how you animate masks. So you can hit the stopwatch to start animating. Now if I move back a few frames, I could select all the points here and move it like this 
and it's animated. Now, you can see some of the points don't totally match up, so I'm going to have to move some of them individually, like that, to fix, the, to fix them up. Barely see that edge right there. Well, there you go. Oops. If you, well, I guess I'll show you that. If you right click, you get a whole bunch of different um, mask options here. So, I mean, I'll go over those at a different time.